we're in the third year and you think that, okay, you know, everything is going to be fine and, and here we are. Angie is the mother of Matthew, an MSU student recovering after an assault earlier this month. The family requested to not share their last name over concern of retaliation. East Lansing police say on August 18, around 11.30 at night, a man seen in these pictures wearing a black shirt broke Matthew's jaw and robbed him. His parents tell me that video shows the man punching Matthew in the face, taking his necklace, and leaving the 200 block of East Grand River Avenue. Police are looking for a woman that left the scene with him. A police incident log showed that officers responded to an assault and larceny at the same address as Lou and Harry's that night. Back home near Chicago, Angie says her and her husband got the call that her son was in the hospital. They made the three-hour drive to Sparrow fearing the worst. I just, I saw him covered in blood and then learned that he was going to be transferred because he needed reconstruction surgery and that his jaw had been broken. Matthew's mom says she's having to feed her son with a syringe after a weekend in an Ann Arbor hospital and a four-hour surgery. She says they have gotten support both from MSU, his work, and friends and family. She says her son had extra help that night. On the stolen chain was three religious pendants from the family with a blessing before his first day at MSU. She said everything came back clear. So I do, I do feel that, yes, that was a blessing and that he, they did watch over him. Angie says she hopes someone steps forward with more information on this case. I mean, no mother wants to receive that call. This can happen to any, any other student, any other person, you know.